Welcome to another edition of Desi Soapbox. So, I have a question. Here in Georgia, we have this prison called Metro State Prison. It used to be a men's facility, then they turned it into a women's facility, and then they closed it down in April of 2011 to, quote unquote, save money, $19.1 million to be exact. This was in April of 2011. It's July of 2015, and that prison is just sitting there like a ghost town. When they closed it, they said, and I quote, we're just going to mothball it to save $19.1 million. Now, they're saying that they can't sell it, but they're asking $20 million for the facility. Okay. That place can hold 900 inmates. It costs $49.35 a day to house an inmate in a prison. It costs less than half that to house someone in a transitional center. Now let me break this statistic down for you guys so you can understand why this doesn't make sense to me. In Georgia we have about 53 thousand people who are incarcerated as state prisoners right now. We release about 20,000 of these people every year. So of that 53,000 people, a little over 14,000 of them are in there for the seven deadly sins. That leaves about 38,000 people that are not in there for deadly sins. These are people that are probably in there for drug charges or some random bullshit. Which is usual. Now, those 14,000 people that are in there for those seven deadly sins, they need to stay in there. But, those other 38,000 people are gonna come home. They're gonna be your neighbors. They're gonna be the people that are serving you at Wendy's and McDonald's and working on your cars as mechanics because they can't get a job anywhere else because of the fact that they have felonies on their record. So, instead of just kicking them out and throwing them to the curb when they get out, like here's your ten dollars and a bus ticket to go home, we should be sending these people to a transitional center. There's only 1,700 beds for transitional centers in the state of Georgia. They have nine transitional centers, only two for women, the rest are for men. That's 1,700 beds. About 600 of them go to women. So we have about 1,100 beds for men. That's ridiculous. If we were releasing 20,000 people per year, that means that about 19,000 of them or 18,000 of them are just being kicked out to the curb. Like, here you go. Here's your bus ticket and $10. Bye. See ya. That's ridiculous. These prisons that we're shutting down and they're just being quote unquote mothballed should be opened up as transitional centers. Why am I the only one that sees this? Open the place up as a transitional center. That's 900 more beds. That's 900 more people that are going out, getting jobs, working their jobs while they're serving time, saving up money so when they're released they can go out and get an apartment or a house or a car, whatever they need to get back on their feet so that the taxpayers aren't having to house them in a prison, the taxpayers aren't having to pay welfare for them when they get out. If somebody has a nice little nest egg when they get out because they've been working to pay off their child support, pay off their court fines, whatever, transitional centers are the way to go for those 20,000 that we're releasing every single year. Somebody needs to do something about this.